Good morning, YouTubers. This is Salty Kayak and Big John. We've come out on this Friday in these big waves. So we're crazy like that. There's a grunt and a grunt. And we are at nine, a place called Nine Mile Reef because the waves are kind of big right now. We're going to wait till things settle down. But let me take this opportunity real quick. Real quick. I think I can take it real quick. Well, hmm. well, I can't find that. No, that's not my finger. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. I want to thank Jan R. and Charles A. for the contribution to the Salty Kayak Upgrade Safety Boat Fund. <laughs> Safe for the whole family fund. And also, I want to announce a little competition, not competition so much as Name That Boat. Anybody who contributes can put in the comments section a name for the new boat that's going to be purchased, hopefully this year. And so you will have a piece of the action by naming the boat and what I'll do is everybody who comments with a name appropriate name <laughs> I already got two in mind yeah well uh, you contribute you can you can put your little tag in the in the box for drawing also what I'll do is I'll write the name that the person of the person down one side of the piece of paper and the name that they suggest that the boat be named on the other and at the end of the contest, I'll have the pastor draw out a name and that's what we'll name the boat. So you can take credit in naming the boat, one of you fine folks. And I don't um, give any advantage to anybody that contributes a lot or a little bit. Everybody's going to be the same. Grunts, grunts, grunts. Um, but. If you contribute twice, I'll put your name in twice. If you contribute once, I'll put your name and your suggestion in once. Anyway, just think about it. I'll put a link at the end of this video um, to the GoFundMe page, and you can take a part in not only helping purchase this boat, but also naming the boat. And I'll give you the credit. All right, we'll get back to you when we start catching something real. Well, John, I think it's my hero. He's the only one catching any kind of real fish. I caught a couple of uh, grunts and one little pinfish, and that's kind of what I'm after. But old John, he's catching a red stamp of them. Get me mad. All right, we've moved out here to number 12. It was a bumpy ride. We made it. Party boat over there. A whole bunch of people on it. At an artificial reef, of all things. I thought they'd have gone to live bottom. And there's a couple of grunts. When I first dropped down, I got plenty of grunts. I'm looking for porgy. All right. Big John gets the first hookup of any real fish here at number 12. Oh, I can't tell if it's a snapper or a porgy. I don't think it's a porgy. So therefore, it is a... A oh, lane snapper, a nice big boy, a nice big boy. Way to go. Woo, skunk, John got the skunk out. He did that yesterday or the last time we were out. Look at the size of that. Lane snapper. That's about 16 inch snap, or lane, that's twice the size of legal right there. Way to go, big guy. Squid shrimp? Yep. All right. I'm trying for porgy. And I'm not having any luck. Out the front. You letting everybody over there on that boat know? That's, that's what I'm doing. All righty. Oh, you already know. And I know the skunk's out of the front of the boat. It's still in the back. That's what that smell is back here. That's that skunk. My goodness. You found the zone, that's for sure. Might be the mate to that lane that you just caught. That's a nice fish, John. Oh, oh Porgy! Oh, boy, what 
shaking. Big old porgy. My Golly. Wow. That's a oh, huge one. That's a big porgy. <laughs> Let me see that guy. Woo. Man. Oh, golly, way to go, John. That's a, that's a lane snapper size porgy. Praise the Lord for that big one. I know, it's fantastic. Oh, man, that is a nice lane. What did he spit up? He, some sort of a little eel or something. But my, look, look at the lizard, size of that lane those snapper. Fish, you should have kept them lizard fish. Man. I told you, you should have kept those he is huge. Oh, golly, John. All right. Let's see you measure him up here. I got the, got the video on. If I can get him to calm down enough here. This big old lane snapper is... 15? 15. Woo! That's a That's monster. That's here we go. Here we go. Uh, come on. Stay out of the structure. Come on up here. Uh, 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 uh. Got a whole grunt on here. I got a whole Mr. Grunt on here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just let me see it. I think I got him past the, the no return point if I can keep him on the hook now. There we go. Come on. Oh, dang God! Nope. Oh, it's just bit, he bent the hook. Oh, bent the hook. Ooh, ooh. Dang God! It was a monster. I can't get him up. Huh? You both did fight. I did. I can't believe I can. They bend the hook and get away. Oh, I see him. Here he comes. Trigger. Maybe, maybe not. No, I'm, I'm going to say not. Pretty close. All right. Here we go again. Oh, catch another red snapper. Ooh. I think we found a red snapper hole, folks. This is not a big one. This is a little one. Yeah, just a little guy. Just a little guy. Did I let go? Just like that. Kept my bait, too. This could be the last time. Mm. Oh yeah, they like these these uh, grunt tails. Seem to be irresistible. Just another little guy though. How come I can't catch a lean snapper like like John does? He's my hero. He's my hero. Let him go. Let him go. Let the red snapper go. Right in the side of the mouth. Uh, oh, go on. I can't get it out of the, out of the rod holder. Oh, well, I got it out now. See. Mm. Ah, I got you this time, fella. Come on, come on. I got you this time, big guy. You are coming for a picture. You're going to be on the movies. <sighs> oh, yeah, there he is. I see him. Yeah, it's a big red snapper. The biggest goldfish. I hope he doesn't have you. Look at there. Okay. Do me a favor and yeah, let's try it in the side of the mouth too. Actually, I got this Boca grip. Let me try this Boca grip here. 
That's supposed to be how you do it. All I want to do is measure him and then I'll let him go. Nah. Yeah. There we go. Grip, don't break. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Let me get this hook out of him. Hard to get a blasted circle hook out sometimes. Okay, here we go. Now, give me that measuring device real quick. Don't have this guy out too long. He's only about 25. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Breathe. Bubbling. Breathe. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you, Lord. Are you hooking them in the back or what? Yeah. Cutting that top fin off. This guy's kind of funny looking. Feels a little funny. He's just a little guy. He's only about 20 inches. Been down there chewing on this. He's about 20, about 21 to 22 inches. Thank you, Lord, for this one too. Goodbye. We found the spot, John. Kobe at the front of the boat. Kobe at the front of the boat. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Mr. Kobe. Come on, Mr. Kobe. See this grunt? Come on, Mr. Kobe. Come on. I see you, Mr. Kobe. See? Yeah, see him right there? Oh, John, you're going to get him. You're going to get him, John. Maybe. Here he comes. Oh. He almost looks like he might be a little small. He's heading down to the bottom. Oh, gone. Be Mr. Kobe and not Mr. Red Snapper. Uh. All right. We're on in the battle again. Uh. This is not a Kobe, this is a Red Snapper. Just by the lunges. Uh. 
Come on. But watch for the cobia coming up after it. All this excitement gets them excited. Yeah. You gotta lock it down when you're over the structure, folks, or they take you right into it. Right in the side of the mouth. That's the way I like to do it. Mm -mm -mm. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Where'd Mr. Cobia go? This guy is only about 25 inches long also. All gone. There he goes. What'd you have on there? Oh, he's on. Did you get off? Oh, man. Ah, this is that 7-0 circle hook, John. Let's hope they don't bend this one. And it's still not that cobia. And yeah, it was a full-size grunt. So here comes those guys back again, scoping us out. Yep, just another red snapper. I do not see Mr. Cobia. Is that number four? Uh, well, he's pretty good size. Let me measure him up before I let him go. Gotta hurry though. 20, almost 27. That's a nice sized fish, folks. Nice circle hook right there. Come on. Oh, big beautiful boy. Thank you very much, Lord. All right. John's got something to talk about. Oh, littlest red snapper of the day. Oh, got another one on the other line. Oh, you had one. <laughs> Doggone it. There's a lot of them here and they're smart. And my first trigger of the day. And he's not gonna be, ooh, I don't know, he's close. He's close to 12 inches. John, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I measure him. Got to be 14. He is 13 and a half, of course. Yeah, 13 and three quarters, of course. <laughs> Only headed about halfway down. Let's hope this trigger is big enough. Well, nope, it's Red Snapper. He <laughs> came up off the bottom to get my sabiki. I'm trying to catch a blasted trigger. I guess he's a little old Red Snapper. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me chuck him back. I win. Look at there. Caught the biggest and the smallest today. Can't use that for bait. Yep. All right, here's how the cycle works, folks. Got the sabiki on here with little bits of squid. I'm gonna let it down to the bottom. We haven't moved. We're still in the exact same spot we were half an hour ago, catching all those great big red snapper. And saw that cobia. So I'm gonna let the sabiki down. I'm gonna give you the cycle, how it works. All right, getting some bites. Oh, I got a feeling I got a red snapper on here. 
I mean, it just hit the bottom. These fish must be starving to death. It could be, if I got two grunts, it'll be, oh, I got two grunts. That's exactly what I want. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one grunt in the bait well here as I sit down hard. And I'm going to keep one grunt out. Okay. Then I'm going to take the old scissors because if you're fishing for big fish, they don't like to get stuck with those, like a cobia. He will spit it back out. So you cut that off so he doesn't feel a stick. He doesn't feel a pain. And then you put a little slice on the tail like that. A little slice on the tail like that. Sometimes I do it twice. Like that. Okay. And you get your 7-0 circle hook that just got bent. Ooh. And you put it in the back like that. Now you got yourself a nice lively, nice lively grunt, letting out a little bit of blood. So then I'm gonna put it down to the bottom and then I'm gonna wait. And as soon as I get a bite, I'll turn this cam back on. Well, I may have to not have to wait to turn this cam back on because Big John got himself a big fish. Oh, had himself a big fish. Popped you off. Looks like you got everything, too. Yeah, got everything. Oh, I hate it for you, man. Okay, I put this all the way down to the bottom. The sinker is on the bottom. Going slack. Flip it over. Raise it up once, twice. Now it's about a foot, a foot and a half off the bottom. All right, I'm getting some activity. I'm just gonna let it go. No, he hasn't got it yet. He took it and spit it back out because I guess the circle hook might have dinged him or he didn't like the pressure. Come on, come on back. All right, just put it in the holder. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now they bend the, these hooks, so I gotta watch out. I cannot put the drag on, undo the drag, because there's big structure right there and they'll go right into a, 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 a pipe, concrete pipe. So I gotta play them. I think I got them, I see them down there, way down there still. And now this was on that grunt you saw me put on, folks. Full-size grunt. I don't see Mr. Cobia either. He's gone. I don't know where he went. Whew. Nice, big, beautiful, full-size adult red snapper. Okay, let me get his boga grip on this beautiful fish. There we go. Get that circle hook. Bent it a little bit, bent it a little bit. All right, let me measure him up real quick and get him in the water. He is 27, another 27 incher. Thank you Lord for this monster also. Okay, I'll let you go. You ready to go, aren't you? Bye. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> He's only halfway down. He's getting hit by probably 
There we go. Oh. I'm going to let that circle hook turn around. Oh, they got him off. Trigger fish got him off. Ugh. All right, Big John and I have both got a hook up. Looks like he's got a bigger hook up than me. This is on a full size. Wish I could turn that way so you can see him a little bit better. There must be just hordes of these red snapper down there. Your reel's about to die on you, big guy. Okay, there's mine. Let me get the, uh, let him down a little bit and I'll get the net for you. If you can get him up. There's my guy, about 22, 23 inches. A couple more reels and you'll have him. Not yet. And there he is. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Where'd he go, Big John? Thank you, Lord, for this fun. I'm not even gonna measure this guy. I'm just gonna let him go. I am just gonna let him go. If you'll let me let him go. Yeah, you're welcome to. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, what's John got this time? Oh, a lane snapper. Of all things, you and your lane snappers. You are so fortunate. My, oh, he's puking up all your food. Wow, another big one. Wow. on that ruby tail. <clears throat> it's not as big as the biggest though. <laughs> now if I was out in the uh, open area on some natural bottom, I'd let them run, take off some line. But not, since we're near structure, you can't do it here. Also, we're throwing our red snapper back, all of them, because we're still not allowed to keep any. Apparently they're still somewhat rare and somewhat endangered according to somebody. Not me. Not me either. I mean, I got proof that they are not rare and or endangered. Because we're catching them one after another, after another. But we'll just catch this guy and let him go. He's only about well, I don't know, 22. Right in the side of the mouth. There he goes. Woo! You see that Minn Kota SP70 trolling motor, GPS trolling motor folks right up there? It's keeping us on spot. Right on spot. No anchor down. See it moving back and forth? Head back a little bit, move back and forth, keeps us right on spot. You don't need to throw your anchor down. They're not paying me anything to tell you that that's, a, that's the way you need to go. But folks, that's the way you need to go. Yeah, here comes those guys to spy on us catching these red snapper. You gotta come over here and mark our spot so they can come with red snapper season and catch all our red snapper. Not our red snapper. Yep. Yeah. 
This is a small one. Ah! Skunks out of the boat for a lane. Another great big lane. Thank you, Lord, for this. That I can give to John. I'm gonna go ahead and get this other big red snapper off of here. So I can let her go. Now that's another great big one. Look at that. 25 inches. At least. Right in the side of the mouth. Back on it. There we go. Put a meat on it.